Alright guys, I'm back down south in Texas with Kyle and we're going to be pounding the old stomping grounds for the next few days and a lot of other old towns. Um, right now we're doing this house and he's gotten a deep uh, 1240s signal so we're hoping maybe it's a worn silver but we're going to see. Maybe it's just a wheat. Guess I'll turn the camera back on. All right, so we found it. Just some piece of trash, so we'll keep going. All right, Kyle says he's onto a silver. It's just a rosy. Definitely silver, though. Oh, sweet, dude. How deep? Barely, I was in, it was like right there. It's shallow, really shallow. 50, Awesome. Thanks, man. So we're doing a massive empty lot right now, and Kyle says he's got a V-nickel. Definitely a V-nickel. Oh, yeah. Here, if you want to hold it, if it's not focusing. I haven't found the date yet. Ugh. See if I can get in the shade. What was that, like two inches? Maybe three. I think I see 1900 maybe, but I can't tell for sure. Yeah, I'll rub it off. Thanks, man. No problem, we'll definitely get a date for you guys. All right, so we moved on to this beautiful old Victorian house built in 1912. Um, we hunted it last year and found a lot of cool stuff. And we're back um, trying to look for a lot of the relic targets and stuff like that, and I just got one here. It's a really cool, just tiny lock. So. Awesome, I'm gonna have to show the homeowner that she's really interested in the history. So awesome, we'll keep going. Still going, and I had a nice mid-tone here, just about five inches, and it's a rabies vaccination tag from 1960. It's got the town name on it there too. So awesome, I'm really happy with that. All right guys, right after that rabies vaccination tag, I had like a 1240 here, I swear it was gonna be like a wheat penny or something, and it's a super worn silver. It's I mean, I'm talking, seated. I can't even tell. I can't really make out what's on there. I think it says one dime right there. I'm like shaking. It looks like the old design, dude. It looks like Oh my seated. gosh. We should probably get the spray bottle. I don't want to rub it. Yeah, I have one on me. Holy crap. It was literally just a 1240, like five inches. Here you go. Oh, no, it's a barber. a barber. Holy cow. I've never seen a barber that worn. That's why it had me freaking out. I've never seen a barber that worn. Whew. I'm yeah, that must have been in circulation until Man. like the 60s, dude. That was worn. It must have been one of the early ones too. Holy cow. It's like an 1894 S and we'll never know. That is still awesome. We'll take it. Any silver's uh, a good silver. Yeah, we'll keep going. A little while later, we're gonna see what Kyle's got. Buffalo nickel. Definitely buffalo. Ooh, this one's an early one, 1919. Oh, nice. That's in good condition. Yeah. That sucker was down there, it was barely peeping. Awesome. Thanks. 1891 is my first 1800s. All right, so a little while later, and Kyle says he's got a vehicle. Definitely a vehicle. You can grab it. Oh, wow. 1891. Is it a solid 1212? Yeah. Yeah, 1891. Congrats, man. It's one. Thank you, sir. The back is so red. That's cool. I was thinking there would be a vehicle at this house, but I never find it. We'll keep going. Oh. All right, Kyle says he has a wheat spill. Well, there's, there's a wheat a and a buffalo in it. I already put a wheat in my pouch. There's another one in there, but it's a 30 spill. They're all from the 30s. That's awesome. You're killing it on the nickels today. Yeah, man. 
to Buffalo's disease. I'll go over the hole again here in a second, but that was fun. Nice. I was just saying that there needed to be more nickels in this yard. Yeah. All right, guys, so we just moved on to an old house that you may recognize from last year. I found a 1919 Merc here. Um, just an awesome yard, and uh, we're working it again, and I've got a silver in the clod here. So we're fixing to pop it. You want to pop it, Kyle? Yeah, I'll pop it for you. Ooh, it's looking old. Barber. Oh, Barber, yes. 1914. Oh, sweet. Awesome, dude. Man, and this yard's been hit before. <laughs> we Not missed by it. us, too. Beautiful condition. I'll get the spray bottle to clean the rest off, but awesome. So we're going to keep going. All right, we're about finishing up at this house, but Kyle says he's got a possible silver, so we're going to watch it live. It's going to be the curse of the live dig, dude. I guarantee it. I want to watch it be a seated. That'd be so funny. Oh, my gosh. It's possible on the street. Coin size. Right out. Five quarter, I think. See it there. Dang. It sounded so good, Man, too. That sounded good. That was deep. Jeez. Oh, well, we'll keep going. All right, guys. Kyle and I are back out today in another old town working a curb strip right now. We just started, and I've already got a silver here in the clod. So we're gonna check it out here. That's old. Looks like a Merc. 1941. Sweet. Awesome. We just got here too. So awesome. We're gonna keep looking for more. All right, we're on to a house now, and Kyle's got a token, so we're gonna check it out. It's for Sears, 100th anniversary of Sears. So it's not too old, but still kind of cool token. Sweet find, man. Thanks. All right, guys, Kyle's onto a silver. So we're gonna check it out. It's in a coin ball. It's worn, look at how one Oh it is. my gosh. Oh, it's a freaking rosy. 48 rosy, it's super worn. At least you're on the board. Yeah. Awesome, I'll take it. Awesome, we'll keep going. Okay, we're kind of freaking out right now. Kyle says he's got a half dime. How deep was it? It was down there, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's play, it's play money. money. Dang it. Dang, dude. Oh, that well. had me going. Oh man, I, it looked like one. Right after that play money, Kyle's got a buffalo, he says. So awesome. Thanks, man. See a date on it, or? There's gonna be one, it's just really crusty right now, so I'll have to clean it off. Sweet, keep going. Um, it's getting late, and Kyle's actually found quite a few things at this house, and we're back at it, and I just had a nice signal here, and it's a silver dime. There, tip of my finger. So we're gonna pull it out here and see what we got. You want me to pull it out? I got it. All right. It's a Merc. Sweetness. 1944. I knew it sounded like silver. Awesome. All right, it's the third day. Kyle and I are back out. Uh, first house, and he's got a silver necklace. It is. It's got to be silver. I mean, it's just going to be hard to extract. <laughs> So I guess we'll have to, yeah. don't hang on it, I guess we'll have to extract it off camera and then once it's out, we'll get it back. But. So 
So awesome. Thank you. All right, a little while later, and we moved on to a curb strip here off of a really old house. And Kyle says he's got a silver dime. Don't be another thing I'll play money, but that looks like a silver Check dime. Out. Oh yeah, that's a silver. Here, let me zoom in on it. All right, let's pull it out. Rosie. That's another Rosie, dang it. I'm cursed by the Rosies, dude. Silver, silver. 62, it's a baby. Awesome, we'll take it. Thank you. All right, guys, we're doing a house build in 1870 right now. I had a nice Indian signal here, um, about four or five inches, and we see a coin rim right here in this clod, so we're going to pop it right now and see what we got. It's got to be an Indian. Yep. There's the oh, one side. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, sweetness. 1887. Oh, man, that's an older one, too. Awesome. Look at that. I knew this house had to have an old coin. Awesome, dude. Thank you. All right, guys, we moved on to another Victorian house and just had a nice silver tone, only a few inches down, and we got a dime. Look at that silver rim, so we're gonna pop it here. Rosie. Hey, after today, I think any of us will take a Rosie. Ooh, just made it, 1964. Sweet. Thanks. A little while later, we moved on to a 1950s house, and uh, been here about 10 minutes, and I got a silver on my shovel here, silver dime. So we're going to pop it here, see what we got. It's a Merc. Wants to be my teen's Merc. Oh my gosh, it is a teens. <laughs> 1917. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> awesome.